to antenna and wave propagation playlist here in this session i'll be going to explain angle measurement in radian and solid angle measurement in terms of steradian so first i'll be explaining angle measurement in radian so first of all when we talk about measurement of angle in terms of radian so that is angle measurement in two dimensions so it is arc length per unit radius so for example here one can see this is what circle so i'm considering this is a circle and circle is there in two dimension so it is there in two dimension 2d now for example if i want to measure angle in between this two point then to have a measurement of angle in between this two point first thing is i need to calculate what is this arc length so if i say this is arc length l and if i say this is radius r then angle measurement in terms of radian that will be arc length per unit radius so let us write definition first so it is arc length per unit radius so when we want to calculate this it is actually arc length per radius so here i have considered arc length to be l and radius to be l so that will be l by r and unit of this that will be radian now for example if i consider complete circle so what will be angle of 2d for complete circle so for complete circle arc length will be 2 pi r arc length of complete circle is 2 pi r so based on that as if you want to calculate what is that angle in terms of radian so that will be arc length is 2 pi r divided by radius r so that will be 2 pi radian so this is how we can calculate angle in two dimension and that is what in terms of radian now let us move on to second part of this session that is solid angle so when we talk about solid angle that has to be measured in three dimension so here i need to consider sphere so when we see three dimensional measurement of angle then we need to consider sphere so if i consider this is a sphere and when we want to calculate solid angle in terms of steer radian so that will be amount of area covered per square of radius so let us write definition first it is amount of area per square of radius so how to measure that so let us consider this is the origin of sphere and here we have some area on sphere and obviously with respect to center distance will be r and if i say it covers area a then solid angle in terms of steer radian if i say it is phi then it will be this area covered divided by square of the distance of radius means so radius square and this is what we are measuring in terms of steer radian so in short we write it by sr 
now for complete sphere surface area of complete sphere that is 4 pi r square so for complete sphere surface area is Four pi r square. So solid angle will be phi is equals to complete area that is four pi r square divided by r square. So that is four pi t radian. So for complete sphere in three dimension, solid angle will be four pi. So solid angle that is angle measurement in three dimension so solid angle is angle measurement in three dimension and when we talk about radian then that is what angle measurement in two dimension so radian is measured in two dimension 2d so for complete circle angle is 2 pi in terms of radian and for complete sphere it is there in 3d so for complete sphere solid angle will be 4 pi so it is actually area covered with respect to square of the radius of that area so area divided by radius square that is solid angle in terms of t radian now in next session i'll be going to explain relation in between radian and t radian so here now i'll explain what is the relation which is there in between radian and t radian so when we talk about one t radian so let us write one t radian so one t radian it is as i have told t radian that is there in terms of three dimension t radian that is there in terms of three dimension and radian that is there in terms of two dimension so t radian that is a multiplication of two dimensions that will result into three dimension so ultimately one t radian is one radian into one radian so it is actually one radian square now as if we want to calculate t radian in terms of degree square then one radian that is 180 by pi so as if we want to calculate that in terms of degree square so that will be 180 by pi whole square so that will be in terms of degree square and that we can calculate by 1 sorry one eighty divided by pi and square of it so that is 3286.13 degree square so one t radian that is 3286.13 degree square so that is what the relation which is there in between radian and t radian now when we talk about one complete sphere then for complete sphere for complete sphere as i have derived t radian solid angle is 4 pi t radian so now for to calculate that in terms of degree square we need to multiply this with 4 pi 
So previously we have calculated this multiply it with 4 pi. So that will result into 41273.8 degree square. So that is how we can identify solid angle in terms of radian square as well as degree square. So one T radian that is one radian square and to translate one T radian into degree square we need to multiply 3286.13 so that will result into solid angle translation into degree. So this is what we need to multiply it with and for one complete sphere it will be 4 pi into that degree square which we have previously calculated. So that will be somewhat this. Thank you so much for watching this video. In next sessions you will be finding complete antenna series. So antenna parameters with that I am beginning this antenna and wave propagation playlist and here you will be finding complete antenna series and you can suggest me those videos which is required to complete antenna series. Right now I have already begun with the course which is what I am teaching in BTEC engineering students and in future there will be many more subjects that will be there in front of you. Thank you so much for watching this video.